Hey, and welcome to Tell Samira. I'm going to talk about the cycle of abuse. Now, you may have heard about that regarding domestic violence, about how it occurs in uh, romantic relationships, but I'm also going to talk about how it happens in, with your friendships. It can be in family relationships if you're dealing with a narcissist. So hold tight and let me know what you think in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Like this video if you like anything that I'm about to say. So with the cycle of abuse, of abuse, how it goes is you have the tension building phase. Tension building phase is where whoever you're dealing with, who's the abuser or who's the narcissist, they may start to get angry. They may start to criticize, to yell, to try to force you into doing things. You know, you, you may feel like you're walking on eggshells. You can't do anything right. They have something negative to say about anything. Even if you fix them their favorite food, they're mad. If you take your mom to the grocery store to play bingo, she's mad. You couldn't do that right. But just last week, it was good. So you're, it's all about confusing, confusion. You're like, well, what's going on? You know, this person is really on edge. You're in denial about what's going on because you've seen this before. You've had, you've been in this phase, this cycle before with them where they, where they, they're really tense and you know, and you're walking on eggshells, you've seen it before, but you, you, you're not really understanding that this is a pattern with this person. So from that tension building phase, it goes into the explosion. This is where the attacks happen. It can be physical attacks, you know, um, bruised eyes, you know, getting hit getting hit you know they can also be this um emotional where they're name calling saying you're not good enough you know you're ugly you're too big you're not you're just not enough or whatever. It can also be sexual attacks, you know? It's not just that tension. That tension is now gone into something that's totally physical, out of hand. You know, you're probably calling the police. You're probably not speaking to the person anymore. If it's your narcissistic friend or your or, or your parent, you know, you, 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 you're trying to get somewhere to get some type of help probably. You're still in denial because, you, again, you've seen this phase too. But for whatever reason you're staying, and I know this because... Because I've been there before with, with um, family members, also with bosses, yeah, uh, with friends thinking, well, maybe it's going to get better. Maybe this time, it's maybe it's going to get better. But the truth is, again, I'm going to keep repeating it. It's all about denial because you've seen this happen before and it doesn't change. It may get worse, but it doesn't get, it, 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 it's not, nothing is going to improve and stay improved with this. So from the explosion, you go to that honeymoon phase. Now, this is the part that really confuses um, people who are on the other side of this narcissism or even this domestic violence. Because with the honeymoon phase comes the apologies, the promises to do better. Oh, I'm going to get you some, your favorite flowers. Oh, I'm going to get you, buy you or your favorite purse or do these things or take you to your favorite restaurants these gifts come or also with this honeymoon phase some blaming could come like well i only beat you because you didn't make my dinner right or you made me angry so that's why i called you those names and that's why i said nobody will ever like you nobody will ever love you and you'll never be good enough you know Oh, and, and, and fake apologies, you know, sometimes how those goes, uh, how those go. I, I, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. However, if you didn't do this, you know, it, I wouldn't have done this. You know, it's a lot of baby please and uh, this, this going on. And, and the thing is, this is why people get confused because they're like, oh my goodness, P Pookie or Tim, Bob. It's really, really must be changing, must be doing something. And they forget this or that denial kick in. That this has happened before. This honeymoon phase is what it's called. You've seen it before. And guess what happens? The reason it's called a cycle, because it goes round, 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 round. Yes, it keeps going round and round. You never get off of this. What is that, merry-go-round, merry-go-wheel? I'm old, I'm older, y'all. Help me with that little thing, carousel, go around and around. Help me out. Leave it in the comment. What is that? Help, help your girl out. Tell me what it is in the comment. So it goes back again to that tension building, the criticism. You may think you and your friend are good. She may boss you something, um, a nice little gift, and you know, after going off on you, and you're like, oh, okay. 
Tashika, we're, 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 we're really back on the good page now. You know, Kim is really, oh, oh, you know, my good friend. Now I remember why I liked her. And then it happens again. That tension building, that criticizing, that yelling, that screaming, the ultimatums, all that stuff. And you're like, oh my God, here we go again. Yes, here you go again. You're going to keep going because it's a cycle. It's going around, around, around. You're never going to get off until you decide that you've had enough. The power is with you to get off that cycle. And again, the explosion. Here comes the threats. Here comes the attacks. Again, you're not good enough. Again, you're always to blame. If you didn't do this, that person wouldn't do X, Y, and Z. And then again, it goes to the honeymoon phase, the gifts. You may get some chocolates, maybe some dark chocolates. That's what I like. Or you may get some more promises. This is never going to happen. I'm never going to hit you again. Or I'm never going to embarrass you in public again. Or, you know, it'll, it'll be okay if you just do as I say. You know, it's all about power and control and you're in your mind because you want it to be perfect and you want to believe that there's some great people on this earth and you haven't lost that hope that there's great people on this earth. You want to believe it and this is why you keep going in the circles around and around and around. But in order for you to stop the cycle of abuse, what you have to do is determine that you've had enough. Determine that you love yourself enough to say, I will not be abused again. Because one, if you feel that something's confusing and crazy making, that is your red flag that something is wrong. With domestic violence, most of the abusers don't go for seek therapy because they believe that they are right and that they are doing nothing wrong and the other person deserves what, what they get. So, you know... Uh, those people do not do well in therapy, you know? And so if you are asking yourself, is he going to change this time or is she going to change this time? Chances are no. Because in, in a lot of things that I've said before, when people see that you allow them to abuse you over and over and over, they think you like it. They think you do because you keep coming back for more. I've been there. So keep coming back for more. They think they're better than you. They think you're stupid and they think you deserve everything you're getting because you keep on coming back for more. Keep coming back for more. You may keep watching video after video. Will the narcissist change? How can I navigate with my narcissist? Some people can't leave, you know, because of situations, you know, and a lot of times with domestic violence, the women are killed when they do leave. So there are special situations. And of course, call 911 and call for help if you need it. But I'm talking about the people that's not parenting with the narcissist, the people that know that they may be killed and you want to get some extra help, call 211 for help if you need it to see how you can escape these people. But for those of you who can leave, understand that the way you stop these cycles, you stop it, is by saying you've had enough, saying that I will no longer be a victim, saying you've done this to me once, oh, it's happened again, and I've said something to you, it's happened a third time, that is the time to leave. You don't need another video. You've watched every narcissistic video you need. You've watched every video about red flags, about toxic relationships and if you're still staying there it's a choice and when you decide that enough is enough that abuse will stop when you stand up for yourself and say no and begin to push back and actually leave that is enough but what i notice a, a lot in my comment section when i start to say wow you know do, is that person really your friend they're doing S, Y, and Z. Are you sure? You said they're nice. Is it nice that they're gaslighting you? Is it nice that they're misusing you? Do you know I have people in my comments that will push back at me and go hard to defend the narcissist? You're choosing to be a victim. You're choosing because you're fighting hard for that relationship. I come out of a pure heart and say, no, you deserve better. And they're pushing back. Well, that really is my friend because they did this. Well, wait a minute. You just typed me a book on how this person is not your friend. And then when I tell you they're not, you know, then you want to defend the person. Just tell me in the comment section, Samira, I'm venting. Tell me, Samira, I'm venting and I'm not going to, I won't comment. 
But when you don't start off with that, I think you're really looking for a solution. And uh, many a times I have found out people are not looking for a solution. So the only way we can have a narcissist, uh, I heard a smart woman say a narcissist is only a narcissist with some people. And I believe that because you got to have a narcissist has to have somebody that's going to allow them to be a narcissist with them. They only do it with people that they know they can get, get over on and do it. But once you decide to stand up and once I stand up and say enough is enough and I am not going to be your uh, punching bag and I am moving on and I don't care what happened to you in childhood. I don't care that your parents neglected you. I don't need to know the why. All I know is you're doing something to me that's not right, unfair, unholy, unrighteous, whatever you want to call it, not spiritual, and I'm going to leave. I think too many people who are being victimized are trying to figure out, but this person had a bad childhood. So what? Oh, this person's parents didn't love them and some, somebody um, did them wrong and now they just don't like women. So what? That's their personal problem. I don't need to know the why of somebody's hurting me. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And please, if you just want to vent and you want to stay with your narcissist or your, your, your abuser, that's your business. So, Samara got her own life and her own problems. I ain't nothing I can do with you. I, I got a full-time job as a therapist. I... I got enough issues my, myself. So please just say I'm venting and, and I don't want, want you to help problem solve because I want to stay with my narcissist and my abuser. That, that's okay. You you do you. Do you. Do you, boo-boo. That's I don't care. I don't care. If you don't care, I can't care. I was in those type of relationships that, with those narcissist family members and friends and bosses for a long time until you that something click inside your head when you realize you enough. And that you've had enough. Until that happens, you're going to stay there. You, when you're ready to go, you're going to get up, pack your bags and move on, get a new job. Say, Mama, Daddy, okay, you had me. Thank you, but peace because uh, Jesus ain't called me to be um, beat up and misused and abused by you. He called me to stand up and say what you're doing wrong and do right or bad for life. You know, so uh, you ain't going to care your, what your family thing. Who, 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 who's shaming you on Facebook for not being with your family, your mother, your father, or your the husband who was beating you and stuff. You're not going to care what anybody thinks because you're going to love yourself to the point you're going to get up and you're going to break that cycle of abuse. Okay, um, and just one last thing. She, her, me, yes, has um, republished my first book. I should have worn a curtain. A novella. I re um, added some updates to it. Very excited about it. And you can find that down in the link. And then I also look at me, y'all. Look at me. Loving me. Doing good for me. Have part two to the same book. I should have worn a curtain. A novella. Part two. And so again, you can find that down in the link by Samira Alexander. So please go out and get those and leave reviews. Let me know what you think. And I'm thinking about, somebody suggested I should write a book on narcissism. What do you all think? If you could get a book from me on narcissism, what would you like to learn about narcissism? How to spot the narcissist? Tips on how to deal with the narcissist? What do you want to know about narcissism in a book, you know? Would you buy it? If so, let me know down in the comments. All right, thank you so much. Bye.